Parker did. Perfect. So hi, everyone, and welcome. I'm Edith, your host for today's event, uh, which is Unlocking Opportunities on LinkedIn for Career Growth. I'm really excited you're here with us to dive into how LinkedIn can help take your professional journey to the next level. Um, so if you're not familiar with HubSpot, we're all about helping businesses and individuals grow better with our customer relationship management software, CRM for short. Uh, today's session is all about giving you practical, practical tips on how to make LinkedIn work for you. Whether you're just getting started or looking to expand your network, our speaker today is going to walk you through how to connect with industry professionals, find new opportunities, and really leverage LinkedIn, uh, especially if you're interested in sales positions. It's a great chance to make a profile stand out and open up some exciting career paths. Uh, so thank you so much for being here, and let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, next slide, please. So a little bit about me, I am uh, based in Los Angeles. I've been with HubSpot for three years as the LATAM intern recruiter. I love supporting our LATAM team with internships and helping students discover amazing opportunities here at HubSpot. And now from our speaker today. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm very happy to be here with you. Um, I want to introduce myself as well. I uh, currently I am a BDR manager for the Brazil team in LATAM. I have been in, at HubSpot for uh, almost six years, and um, I actually started in customer success, and then I moved to sales. So I think this is a great opportunity for everyone to take advantage of in the sense that we want to give you the best advices and tips for you to reach out to recruiters or hiring managers. Um, as a manager, I do get messages on LinkedIn uh, about people that want to join HubSpot, but we want to give you like the best tips so that you can, whenever you're reaching out to a recruiter or a manager, you can do it the best way possible. So we're going to start um, with our launch and learn uh, to unlock opportunities on LinkedIn for your career growth. What's the agenda today? Um, why I, I want to explain to you why you use LinkedIn and why this is a great platform for you to have um, in your uh, like when you're whenever you're looking for a, a role, a new role or an opportunity to grow your career, how to get started. Then I'm going to share some um, uh, information about what you should be sharing and what you should be doing on LinkedIn in order to get more attention, how to do your networking and outreach. Uh, how to do your tracking and adjusting whenever you are uh, starting to do this uh, through LinkedIn, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna do at the end uh, some conclusions and uh, what we expect uh, at HubSpot whenever you're trying to grow your career here. So the first one is why use LinkedIn. Um, so LinkedIn is one of the best resources you can have uh, whenever you're looking for a new a new role. Uh, this is the best way for you to increase your network uh, whenever you're actually doing a, a, a job search, even if you have another job or not. It's always a good platform for you to have in your in uh, on your mind and on your top of your mind uh, in order for you to uh, see and get the best opportunities for your career growth. So uh, this is the, also the best way to contact either a recruiter or a hiring manager because that's the best uh, platform for you to find them. You can use their filters, you can use their lists, you can use uh, their roles um, to reach out to them. So um, probably you have maybe sent an email to a recruiter that you never got a, a response back. So I think this is a good way to do it uh, and to show yourself. Uh, also, because 72% uh, of the recruiters look on LinkedIn to source for new qualified uh, candidates for different roles that we're looking for, uh, because there you can, uh, like I mentioned, filter by language, you can filter by roles, industries, different things. And 67% of the recruiters feel that the candidates they hire through the platform are high quality, 
because it gives uh, the candidates um, the opportunity to show themselves their, their roles that they have had in the past or um, their skills and attributes that they can bring to the company. But also for the recruiters, it also gives the, the opportunity for them to see your profile, see what you have done in the past and uh, have more insight on who you are. Also connecting with recruiters and hiring managers lets you inquire about uh, potential positions and, and you can start building a relationship with them different than if you do it via email, which is not as fast and um, as good uh, for the candidate to do. And when you message someone on LinkedIn uh, after applying for a job, you're also showing yourselves and you're let it, letting them know that you're active uh, in either in the industry or the type of role that we're looking for. But also um, you can show yourselves and give more information to that recruiter or that, that hiring manager. Also, it shows initiative and passion. We do get a lot of candidates that um, have never shown themselves uh, through other platforms as LinkedIn, but um, it also uh, shows us uh, how proactive you can be into reaching out and finding the right person to talk to. And you can show also your communication skills by doing that through uh, LinkedIn. So how to get started? I know this is probably the, the biggest question and what you need to do uh, in order for you to start uh, your outreach and to look for uh, hiring managers or recruiters through LinkedIn. So um, first, the, th the first thing that you need to do is understand how LinkedIn works, understanding your messaging limitations. So LinkedIn has a lot of different ways that you can reach out. It can be either in mail, which is paid, or you can do it through um, sending a direct message, but you would need to send a connection first. So that's something that you need to take into account and that you need to look for in order for you to reach out to the, the different people that you want to reach out. So you can use um, either the direct message once you connected with them, or you can think of uh, finding a LinkedIn premium account that it's gonna let you send a message that is called email uh, before you connect with them. Or you can send an, uh, connect, uh, a connect with a message, uh, with a message uh, already written before you are actually have a connection. So keep in mind that if you don't uh, want to message recruiters uh, or you still don't know who to message or what industry you want to work with or what role you want to apply to, you can still start to connect with these people and start to uh, build relationship with them, relationships with them. Um, and you can start just by making connections and networking, building your network uh, through LinkedIn. Also, it's very important for you to have your LinkedIn profile updated. Uh, one of the first things that a recruiter or a hiring manager is gonna see is um, how you updated your LinkedIn profile and how uh, uh, you are showing yourself through that LinkedIn profile. So um, you're, we're gonna be able to see your skills, even your personality and the things that you're sharing. That's gonna be your first impression as well. So make sure that your profile page looks the best way possible. And things that you can do to improve your LinkedIn page are have a professional photo in your LinkedIn, use a clear professional headshot, profiles with photos receive more engagement. And of course, people are gonna accept your connection if they can see your face and who you are. A compelling headline, instead of just the job title, you can use keywords that also recruiters and hiring managers can use to find you. So for example, you work with business development, you have worked with marketing, you have worked with sales, uh, that type of keywords are gonna give us um, good uh, filters for us to look for you. And also aspirations, what do you wanna become? Do you wanna be a leader eventually? Do you wanna work with uh, logistics, marketing, sales, uh, things that you wanna do? It's very important as well. Give a detailed summary, like write a concise, engaging summary that highlights your experience, skills, and career goals. That is also very important because that way we know that what you are looking to achieve 
is what we're looking for in someone that is looking uh, that is trying to get a role at HubSpot. Also, your experience and your skills. Probably some of you have had uh, some experience working in different roles. Some of you haven't. That's okay. But we all have skills that we can share and where we can list. And it is important to have relevant uh, work experience and skills. For example, if you talk another language, if you have been a leader somewhere else or, or within uh, your university or your school, it's important to have skills that you can show and that we can see through your LinkedIn profile as well. And um, use things that it, uh, you have achieved in the past that demonstrate the impact that you have had either at a company or your school. And also um, ask your teachers or former uh, managers that you have had to send recommendations. Request other colleagues or people that you have worked with in the past to send recommendations for you to uh, build up that credibility that we want to have when we're looking at your LinkedIn profile. Share valuable content. I know sometimes we tend to like reshare some information, which is good. Uh, you're also building that content and you're also showing your personality through the, through the things that you're resharing from someone else. That's okay, but it's also important for you to take into account things that you can do that can show different skills. So post regular, regularly, share industry news, insights, or your own experiences to establish yourself as a, as a thought leader. Like how can a leader that is looking for a specific role can think of me? And then I'm going to be seeing that through my LinkedIn profile that you're sharing this information and I find very valuable what you're sharing or that I can see your personality through the, through the things that you're sharing. But it is important to stay up to date and posting regularly so you can uh, continue to be on the top of the list whenever someone is actually just logging into LinkedIn and seeing the feed. Also write articles. If you feel very passionate about a subject, if you feel very passionate about topics or specific industries that you want to talk about, just go ahead and do it. That's uh, the way to for you to publish and show yourself, but also show your communication skills, what you're looking for, your vision about a specific uh, either role or a specific industry. Um, and you can also showcase your expertise in that specific subject that you're talking about. Like I mentioned before, LinkedIn is a, is a very good platform for us to have a good uh, networking, but also a good outreach. And networking doesn't necessarily need to be specific to a, a one a person or a one role or one company. Um, you can build a network around an industry that you wanna work with. Either it, it can be, for example, in our case, SaaS industries and um, that you can also think, okay, I'm going to focus on HubSpot, but also maybe I'm going to see another company that works in the same industry and you can keep building that networking and also the outreach that you can do. So build a strong network, connect strategically, focus on connecting with professionals in the industry that you want to work with, alumni as well, and colleagues. That way you can also... Um, uh, build that relationship in the industry, but also, for example, if you had had experience in the past in other industries, build that uh, relationship as well and create that connection. Personalize your connection request to stand out. Like I mentioned before, you can send some messages, personalized messages when you're connecting with someone. So try to do that if you're very focused and uh, you're trying to reach out to someone uh, specifically. Engage regularly, either liking, comment on their posts, share, reshare their posts as well to stay visible on your network. Um, sometimes we we see as hiring managers or recruiters the type of content you're sharing, but also if I see you connecting with me or connect, or if the recruiter sees you connecting with them, liking their posts, their comments. Um, or commenting on their pages that you either agree or you want to share something additional to what they are sharing, 
that is also gonna uh, keep you on the top of the list and engaging a lot with the network that also the recruiter has. Uh, and this can lead to more opportunities and conversations. Um, sometimes I have seen people that is commenting on other people's posts and then at the end of the day, they end up connecting and having a conversation about a specific subject or something that they want to um, discuss or seeing, oh, I like your vision. I like what you mentioned here. Let's talk. That's also going to help you to build more opportunities. Also, there are a lot of uh, good groups that you can join on LinkedIn. So you can join uh, relevant groups that are relevant either to the industry or that you want to work, the role that you want to work with, or the uh, area of expertise that you want to get. So there's a lot of different groups that you can see, for example, uh, around marketing, inbound marketing, or sales, uh, consultative sales. Uh, how to build a pipeline, different things. Podcasts as well are shared through these, these groups. And you can also participate on the groups. And that's going to make you more relevant whenever someone is joining the group and seeing what other people is posting. So you can also meet new people and share insights on what you think that that, that, that specific group is talking about. How to also do your networking and outreach. So uh, sometimes we, um, whenever someone reaches out to us, we are doing some sort of uh, informal interviews. So if you're reaching out to people uh, in roles or companies that you, are my, that you admire, that is also going to give you informal interviews because I, I'm going to keep you in my top of mind. I'm going to be able to meet you and see what you can do, even if someone, even if a company still doesn't have a role for you. I have had people in the past reach out to me telling me, hi, Juliana, I'm very interesting, interested in joining a BDR role. I see that there are no roles available at the time, but I would love to send you my CV, share some information about me. And if you can let me know whenever um, you open up a role, I'm more than happy to, to apply. And that's something that I have done in the past. I actually have people on my team that has messaged me in the past, uh, even before we opened a role. And then we give them the insight, hey, we're going to open this, please apply. And I see them in the interviews after. So this can provide more value, uh, more valuable insights and also expand your network. Even if uh, at the time, for example, at HubSpot, we don't have a role for you, I can share with you, hey, but this company has a role. Maybe you're interested in this or we have a lot of partners that are hiring. So maybe I can also share that. So that is going to help you expand your network. Follow companies. Um, that way you can stay up to date on what the companies are sharing and what um, they are uh that and if you're interested in that company specifically, you can also see uh, new launches, new things that they are doing, uh, their vision, uh, culture, different things that a company shares through LinkedIn. So that's gonna keep you up to date into this, but also you can engage with their content to increase your visibility and other people from that company can see you. It's also very important at the end of the day to be yourself. Authenticity is key in order for you to stand out whenever we feel like we need to all be the same and follow like the same structure. Um, that's not going to be the way that you can stand out. Uh, so if you are yourself and you are authentic to yourself and what you can bring to the table to a company and what you are looking for and what you want to do, uh, what your goals are, that's going to keep you um, on the top of the list share your journey, challenges, and achievements. It's also very important because so we grow a lot through challenges and we tend to hide them. Um, but at, at least at HubSpot, we feel that challenges are the way uh, that we grow and what we can do better and the, that we learn from it instead of uh, hiding them. And also your achievements, things that you have done in the past that are good, that um, you can stand out on it's also very important for you to share. And also just as a reminder, maintain professionalism 
be mindful of your tone and the content that you're sharing. Sometimes uh, potential employers can be reviewing your profile. So it's important for you to stay as professional as possible as LinkedIn is a platform for professional uh, networking and professional insights. And um, we also have other platforms that we can share maybe some other things and to other type of content. So at the end of the day, what is also very important for you to take into account and for you to have um, into place, if you're already starting to do this and you're already starting to reach out to recruiters or managers that you feel are good for um, to talk to and that you're looking uh, to have a role within their team or their company, it's also very important to keep track of what you're doing and make adjustments if you need to. So uh, this is also going to help you like to see, okay, I have sent 10 messages out so far. I got one response. Why, um, why um, did I get only one response? What am I doing different or not? What can I uh, improve on my message or what I'm doing? That's going to help you and then make adjustments in the end. So analyze the engagement, how many people is um, sharing your, resharing your content or engaging with the content that you're sharing or your posts. Also, how many people is actually uh, responding to the messages that you're sending them directly or uh, commenting on your um, profile, commenting on your posts, uh, on the things that you're doing. And also it's very important and at HubSpot we highly encourage this, which is seek for feedback. Ask trusted connections for feedback on your profile or content to continually, to continually improve. This is very important because that's the way that you can see other people's perspective and you can see if maybe there's something that I am not seeing when I'm sharing some content or uh, someone else is seeing uh, and they can share those insights with you so that you can make improvements. And also don't be afraid to reach out to someone and ask, hey, I sent you a message maybe a couple of months ago. I wanted to understand why I never got a response. Is there something that you didn't like? Sometimes we tend to not, not challenge people whenever they are not responding. But if you seek for feedback, maybe you can get it. And at least at HubSpot, we, like I mentioned, we highly encourage this because um, I have seen leaders sharing feedback. Oh, I didn't respond because I didn't see this in your profile or your CV uh, is not sharing data that I would like to see on your achievements, on the things that you have done. And you can get really good at, at sending those messages and get the next role that you want to have. So as a conclusion, um, and I think this is very important and that I have seen uh, in the past, it doesn't only work for uh, reaching for your new role or um, looking for the next company that you wanna move to, but also for recruiters to see your profile, uh, the engagements that you can get and how much of a network you have been building. And I have seen in the past um, people that engage engages a lot in LinkedIn, how much um, other people are reaching out to them. So you can also do what we have at HubSpot that is like some sort of inbound recruiting, which is already starting to get people to reach out to you and not only you reaching out to them. So the conclusion is by actively engaging with your network, showcasing your skills and utilizing LinkedIn's features, you can unlock a wealth of opportunities for your career growth. Regularly update your profile and be proactive in your outreach to maximize your chances of success. So um, LinkedIn is a, is a really good platform for you to use. And at the end of the day, if you are constantly on the top of the feed of someone that you are trying to reach out, that is going to be key whenever they are looking for a new role and they are going to know you, they're going to know your skills, and they're going to know what you can bring to the process and to the role uh, when we're hiring. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to leave you with it is so she can share some other things that we're looking uh, for at HubSpot. 
Wow. A huge thank you to Huli for sharing such valuable insights. And you dropped so many gems about how to make the most out of LinkedIn for career growth. Your knowledge and the tips that you've given us has given us a lot to think about and to put into action. So with that being said, um, as far as what we look for in candidates for these internships, we're looking for people who are motivated individuals who are eager to learn, who are passionate about growing in sales, customer success, and are ready to make an impact at HubSpot. So if you're interested, I'd encourage you to read through the job descriptions that we have um, and ensure that it aligns with you and apply and then join us in driving success for our teams. Um, so thank you everyone for joining. I hope this session was helpful for you. Uh, for the time being, follow us on Instagram HubSpot Life or LinkedIn under Student Spot. Um, we also provide quick tips and advice on career as well there. Um, and your university should have also shared the open internship roles that we have. So I look forward to seeing your applications. Uh, we'll be in touch and we'll be sending this recording to your universities. So if you're not able to attend, um, you'll be able to watch the recording. Um, so thank you so much.